<laughs> hey guys, what's going on? Justin Boss Nasty Silva here in Dallas, Texas. We're doing some pre MLG Dallas interviews. Thursday night, man. We're finding just random people on the streets. Not that he's a random, but my best friend actually. We grew up together yeah. in, a, in, a, in an orphanage, halfway house. I used to yeah. get bullied a lot. He'd always step in. I mean, I did this. pretty kick ass. Just, yeah, pretty it was just, it was just bam. What's your name? Where you from? What you doing here? Uh, name is Joe Hill. Uh, I'm from Dallas, and I actually was at the uh, auto convention, so the auto show. Oh. Video game competitions, competitive gaming, professional video game. Have you heard these things before? Yeah, I have. Uh, in the past, I've thought about doing like the Madden. Okay. Competition. I've thought about before uh, NBA Live went off the market. Yeah. I thought about doing the live one. I was pretty good at that. So. Have you ever been to like an esports or video game competition, like venue tournament scene before? No, I haven't. Uh, do you know that uh, MLG Major League Gaming are the largest video game competition league in North America, and they're actually going to be hosting a three-day competition here at the convention center? Were you aware of this? I wasn't. He wasn't. Okay. No. Uh, do you think you might tune in now? Maybe, yeah. maybe go check it out? Yeah. To go, um, go watch these nerds play? Well, you know, I may even get in myself. And you get to watch Call of Duty, you get to watch StarCraft, you get to watch League of Legends. Are these games you've heard of before? Yeah, I'm a huge Call of Duty fan. Okay. Uh, so... A little, a little too much? I lost too much. Oh, my God. <laughs> From the wife, eh? So you figure what? November is usually when the next Call of Duty typically drops somewhere around. Here. So he knows. He, he knows it's a yearly thing, man. They got to at least, like, you know, spread it out two, three years. That way the game can kind of, like, mature. Battlefield does that. Okay. So Battlefield yep. does that to where pretty, pretty much every two years, and they'll drop packages, you know, <laughs> once every three months or oh, so. Yeah, so. DLCs, yeah. Yeah. And then you got these kids that travel to competitions, compete in online tournaments, uh, and then they come to these offline LAN event settings, and they're going to have a chance to win, like, uh, there's going to be a Black Ops 2 team that's going to walk away with 20 grand here this weekend, and that's five grand per player on a four-man team. I mean, what do you think when you hear that? Honestly, uh, growing up as a gamer, you know, from your old Atari 2600s, your uh, Nintendo 64s. Yeah, okay. To... My favorite. Yeah, play something that I love to do and get paid for it. That's the coolest. That's just like being a professional athlete. You know, you do what you love and you get paid for it. So, it's awesome. Kids coming out and gaming and competing and making money and, you know, you're just not sitting there thinking to yourself like, you know, why the fuck don't y'all go outside? No, not at all. Because because at the end of the day, you're going to have... Let's go play chicken with a train. I mean, but you're going to have your yeah. people who are more gifted when it comes okay. to, you know, sports and what have you. You're going to have those who can take the game inside and, and become extremely creative when it comes to maybe creating more games. So, no, there's a place right. for everything, man. You know, this is your niche. That's your niche. You know, if gaming is your forte, if that's where you're talented at, you know, regardless of you being cooped up in your room, ordering fast food, half a sock on, you know, you got like half a shirt, you look like the Wolverine, like you just evolved and shit. And you could be on Facebook, you could be on Facebook all day. Okay. I mean, so think about it that way. That's so no, I mean, if that's their niche, you know, hey, more power to you. Would you also maybe consider those kinds of people, like those people who go to work all day, but like every single time they're not working, they're just at their iPhone or like they're at their touch phone, like they just can't take their eyes away. Like when they're driving, when they're on the subway, when they're ordering food. Just I, like, what do you think about those people? Like, would you maybe compare those people to being like? No, uh, those people I compare as basically like when you talk about driving and texting or checking things like that. That's a menace to society, in my opinion. <laughs> you menaces. Hey, if that's your thing, okay. you know, you'd rather have more virtual friends than than physical friends. Yeah. Teach is on, that's you know, right. so <laughs> okay. that's how I look at that. Would you possibly like to see gaming on like ESPN or maybe at the Olympics? Like, could you see it going there? I can't at this point in my life. Okay. Uh, okay. You know, maybe in the future there will be something that I could kind of grasp as far as being, oh, that's a cool Olympic event. Okay. Or, you know, that's cool to be on, you know, ESPN. I think about uh, your World Series okay. tournament as far as poker goes. Okay. I never thought I would watch that. I'm actually a huge fan. Okay, yeah. So just depending on how it's marketed, absolutely, it could be something that, you know, could get into. So. You saw esports. You saw like a video game competition tournament going on right now, like on ESPN, or it was at the Olympics. You, you'd have to, like, Google check it just to make sure that, okay. that it's legit. So, actually, the more I think about it, yeah. I've seen the Madden competition on ESPN. Okay. Okay? okay. So, I tuned into that, you know, for your four or five week duration that it was on. Okay. Now, as far as the Olympics, not so, I'm not okay. too sure about that. But just Maybe TV. Yeah, TV, yeah, absolutely. I mean, 
you have people that watch every other reality show there is out there. That's so true. go figure. I mean, it's like the truest form of reality. Right. So, you yeah. Know, fuck Kim Kardashian. I'm taking Miami shit. I mean, seriously, <laughs> man. Like, how, how much drama can you get out of one family? Any you know? shout outs, plugins you want to give? Uh, anything in particular? No, not really. You know, just, hey, shout out to Dallas. Uh, all the gamers out there, hey, keep doing your thing. Okay, cool. Any advice? It's words of wisdom, maybe to some gamers. Because, I mean, you look like a, you know, pretty wise gentleman yourself. You know, you kind of... You got some fitted stuff going on here. I like that. You know, you seem like you're put together. I think that's probably the good work. You know what? My only thing is I really don't like guys or gals who use the strategy books. Just saying. Okay. I'd much rather you actually go at it and learn the tricks yourself than okay. to get the strategy books. To okay. me, that's cheating. So okay. that's my only thing. Just don't go on Sega Sages and download those cheats, you fucking people who use those game sharks <laughs> <laughs> from back in the day. Right. Those game sharks. <laughs> those game sharks. They just click it in. Oh, I know everything. Yeah. Cheats for games. All you Grand Theft Auto bastards who just get all the fucking tanks and shit. Okay. Thank you so much, sir. I appreciate the time. Gamer Grub is available at these fine retailers.